is Uli and Shaw with Royal Tiger Imports into Ordnance. Long time no talking to you guys, but we were busy, we were traveling and we also received some new products in the warehouse. So I'm kind of excited to present to you guys today some of the very, very rare Steyr carbines. So, um, you know, we got this stuff out of Africa. It's always a long process to get him over here. But finally we got him and um, these guns are really, really rare. So Shaw, tell me what we got. Sure. So. As you know, we've gotten some of the 1888 and M188-90 long rifles previously, but in this newest batch, we got some of these 1888-90 cut-down carbines, similar to the cut-down Ethiopian labels, as well as the Russian Burdans. We also have some of these very rare, about less than 10 of them in the batch, uh, M1890 carbines. These are a Steyr carbine factory, uh, as, as you see it. These are the cut downs, these are the factory conversions. And uh, overall, these are incredibly rare carbines chambered in the 8x50 cartridge. As you can see, they're a little bit different than the M95, which we have at the very far end, as well as a little bit different from the 88. Uh, they made a very small number of these things, and we were happy to see them in Ethiopia. So, yeah, and, and as you can see, folks, they're very lightweight, so um, nice, very nice condition for the age, considering, and uh, they don't have any, any pitting majorly, and, you know, they will clean up nicely, and, uh, of course, for comparison, we have an M95 there, which uh, was one of the latest uh, car M95 styres, and that's um, chambered in 8x56, and uh, also very interesting history of these guns, you know, we got a small batch of really nice condition M95 uh, carbines in Ethiopia, and I don't know, folks, if you remember, but probably about 30 years ago when Bulgaria opened up, there was a batch of beautiful um, M95 carbines coming out of Bulgaria. So this is actually the same batch. So the Bulgarians during communist time delivered some of their old M95 carbines to Ethiopia. And that must have been somewhere past um, between 1975 to the 1985 because this is indeed the same refurbished rifles like we got them uh, 30 years ago out of out of Bulgaria. So that's just a little little side story, but let's focus on these beautiful um, original 1890 Steyr carbines. So um, Shaw, why don't you take the camera and show the folks um, how they look in detail and then later on we can say a few more words towards this. Again, sorry for the long time, there was no video, but like I said, I was traveling, I was picking out some more goodies and there will be more videos to come and showing what we all got, but folks, stay tuned. They will be very, very interesting. I mean, there's some cool stuff coming which have not been in the country in a long, long time. Anyways, thanks for watching, stay tuned, and God bless, God bless America. See you soon. All right, folks, let's take a closer look at this variety of Malnicker rifles and carbines. Starting off at the top here, we'll start with some of the earlier production Malnickers we've seen. These are the 8890 cut down carbines, as we mentioned. You can see the top variety has a three band setup, while the bottom one has a two band setup. We've seen a variety of configurations, and if you'd like to pick out a certain one over the other, feel free to give us a call and we can organize that. Moving on to the star of the show, we have some of these very rare M1890 carbines. These are factory carbines. As you can see, the front end, of course, we're comparing this to a cut down 8890, so it's a little bit longer than what it would usually appear. However, as you can see, it has a M95 style of sling swivel in the front as well as in the rear while still having the M8890 style of sight. Of course, the sight graduations are different, but the overall design is similar. We also move into the front end. You can notice that there is a lack of a bayonet lug as well as a stacking swivel or a stacking rod rather. Of course, these carbines are meant to be a little more lightweight and handy, as well as you can use them with a, a variety of uses, such as artillery or cavalry. And while this top one does have a bayonet lug, many others do not, like this example here. This one is in quite nice shape. Most of these are in similar condition. They may have a small crack in the stock or slight ding or dent. Again, these guns are roughly 130 years old at least. but even though these are quite old, they are in quite nice condition nonetheless. And finally, one of the more beautiful condition rifles that we've received in a long time. This is a M95 carbine chambered in the 8x56S cartridge. 
As you can see, the bluing on this is really wonderful. And if you turn here, you can see the H stamp for the update to the 8x56 cartridge done at the Budapest Arsenal. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.